Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Indian pharmacy products that actually improve your skin. Here I have three products that I got from Indian pharmacy and they were ranging from 100 to 500 in between that and I was really impressed by all of these three. They did show the improvement. They sh did reduce my hyperpigmentation marks. They did reduce, you know, dark patches that were present on my skin. And they're really good for all skin types. And I wanted to make this video. I wanted to reveal all the products that I enjoy applying on my skin that is skin of color. And I would like to share with you guys as well so that you can even try it and see the improvement on your skin. All right, so the first product that I am going to be talking about is the Azeric Acid Gel 15%. It's the Azidum company and it's gel-based formula. So it's really good for, you know, oily skin type, but there is also cream-based one, but it's from a different company. You can also get the Azidum 10%. If you are new to the Azelic Acid and you have never used Azelic Acid before, start with the 10% of Azelic Acid. It is going to, you know, uh, make your skin get used to that ingredient. And then, you know, after six, seven months of applying 10% of azelaic acid, you can switch to 15% of azelaic acid. Azelaic acid itself is a very powerful ingredient as it helps with the um, anti-inflammatory property, which is caused because of the acne formation. There is a lot of immune cells coming. So it kind of, you know, tames down that inflammation, that redness that is happening in the acne area. It also helps with the hyperpigmentation mark because it's a thyrosinase inhibitor. Thyrosinase is an enzyme that leads to the melanin formation in our skin, especially triggering the melanocytes. So it is present in the melanocyte, the thyrosinase um, enzyme. So it kind of calms it down. It reduces the pigmentation that is causing onto the skin. And it's a very helpful ingredient for the skin of color. This 15% I used to use because my skin had become really oily because of the summer. So I wanted something that can really, you know, work on my skin well and can really reduce that pigmentation mark and appearance of the acne and it is also antibacterial now antibacterial property is very good for the people who have now and then breakouts because antibacterial is the property of an ingredient that hinders the growth of the bacteria. Usually in our pores, when we generate the sebaceous, when the sebaceous gland generates the sebum, that is the sweat, the oil, that is to uh, hydrate our skin, so bacteria is harbored there. And sometimes it clogs the pores and causes breakout. So these kind of ingredients help to calm down that, you know, uh, infect, infection caused by the bacteria. So I, I like acetic acid as a whole ingredient. It is very excellent i love its properties i love it as an ingredient you can use from 10 percent and then switch to 15 percent as i mentioned before next ingredient is the koji med now koji med is very interesting it's 15 gram of the product i remember that i paid around like 100 to 200 rupees in between something that range and I love this. This is like a universal cream. It's a cream-based formula. And it has kojic acid, dipalmitate, arbutin, alpha-arbutin, octinoxate, and vitamin E and mulberry extract. Now, if you see the ingredient list here, it has been giving the percentages of each and every ingredient. Here, there is one ingredient that is octinoxate that is a UV filter. Now it helps us to protect our skin from the UV radiation. Even if you see the consistency of it, it is like a simple cream based formula which doesn't have any fragrance. It's very lightweight when you apply it on the skin. I like it in general because it is straightforward to the point. It is formulated to target the pigmentation mark and when we are skin of color, we tend to hyperpigment a lot. So this whole ingredient list is well formulated it helps with the uv filter that can you know uvb filter which can you know penetrate your skin and lead to skin uh, cancer or else pigmentation so uvb filter it gives a protection and it's having the percentage that is 7.5 percent that is adequate person to add in the skincare formulation with one ingredient that is octinoxate usually in fda it is said that 
the uh, concentration from 5 to 10 percent is allowed in the skincare formulation especially in the sunscreens because it's a chemical filter in general it is only one filter chemical filter that is present and rest all ingredients are reducing the pigmentation mark you can even touch it up with a sunscreen if you forget to touch it up with a sunscreen this whole cream can do a wonderful job at protecting your skin because it has a sunscreen ingredient in it i love this formulation and when you know when i apply it um, it it is so lightweight it glides well with my skin and i applied it for straight two months every day without fail and i could see that my you know skin had a nice glow my pigmentation had reduced a bit not a lot and none of the skincare out there can reduce it instantly it's only the laser treatments expensive treatments that can give you instant results but here this cream was showing really good benefits and i loved it i enjoyed using it and i would suggest it for anyone out there who is like looking for a morning cream that has you know um, anti pigmentation ingredient and this cream does a very good job at it i love it excellent cream for hyperpigmentation excellent cream for skin of color people and this is just magic i love this cream i love this it is formulated with colgic acid and alpha arbutin these two ingredients are very widely used for you know taming that hyperpigmentation marks and i am in love with it vitamin e for the emollient properties food for the moisturization and antioxidant properties nice nice product another next very amazing find from indian pharmacy the next product is the tretinoin cream usp I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this and uh, it's not uh, easy to get ingredient. Yeah, it is a prescribed drug, but you can get it easily in Indian pharmacy. That's 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 really funny part about this. Uh, no prescription is needed. You can get tretinoin in Indian pharmacy without any prescription and they consider it as not a um, stimulant or some sort of drug that can harm the body system. They don't consider it is like the tretinoin being that harmful for the other females but they consider other drugs like let's let it be like a cough syrup or something that for that you need a prescription this here in europe you can't get it easily in india in pharmacies you can get it easily that's the beauty of tretinoin in, in india if you want to try it out i am not gonna tell you to try it out because um, you need prescription for that and this comes in different concentrations that is 0.025 to 0.05 percent so don't go and buy it just because you can in india you need to go and first consult your dermatologist and ask if it is okay if you apply tretinoin on your face and if you really want a tretinoin get a prescription from them and then go and purchase tretinoin this is how you need to purchase tretinoin yes it's easily available in the pharmacy but it doesn't mean that you know how to use it very well because tretinoin is very tricky to use and if you overuse it you're gonna burn your skin you're gonna irritate your skin if you don't use it very frequently you're not gonna get any results that's like very dicey to work with tretinoin and that's why you need a proper guidance from a dermatologist that to a trusted dermatologist which is near you and who you can visit if something goes wrong right so dermatologist uh, guidance is very much needed in this formulation you get tretinoin uh, in gel base as well as in the cream based formula i like cream because my skin is not very oily or acne prone so oily and acne prone skin type can use gel base so i like this one and this does a very good job at you know reducing my fine lines my pigmentation mark my sun damaged skin so i really like to use tretinoin 0.05 but if you're a beginner you have used retinol you have used all sort of vitamin a and you want some powerful dose then you can go for 0.025 percent and then after two three years of applying that you can proceed with 0.05 that that is how I have done it and that is how I have studied and used it. So this is how you can use it. This was ranging for about, I guess, I don't remember the price exactly. Something around like 200 to 300. That's the range that I paid for the screen. And this does a very, very good job. This is the most promising cream of all. Okay. This is the best. 
but retinoin after care is much needed because you cannot go in the sun you cannot uh, skip your sunscreen you cannot uh, use any tar like triggering ingredient it's a lot of uh, care that you have to take uh, very much precaution and you need to be very careful after using tretinoin onto the skin and you cannot use tretinoin if you're pregnant or planning to uh, get pregnant or planning to get a baby or if you're lactating you cannot use tretinoin Tretinoin is a big no-no if you are in the motherhood stage where you want to get pregnant, you want to have a fetus. If you have a fetus of one month, you just can't use tretinoin, okay? If you are in motherhood phase, that phase when you want to get pregnant and the baby has grown big and stopped the lactate, like, you know, getting milk from you, then you can use tretinoin, okay? Because lactating mothers are not even allowed to use tretinoin. It has some, you know, research back dating where the fetus was not formed well when a mother was using tretinoin and also the baby development stopped and had neurological problems so that's why don't use it it's a lot of research behind it so yeah these were my three picks from the pharmacy i would be trying out more products once i will be in india and i absolutely love these products for women and if you not only women actually for men as well if you want to reduce your hyperpigmentation mark and you want to uh, have a nice even skin then go try these products out these two because they don't need prescription but this one i think uh, you need prescription for that so yeah that is pretty much it if you like this video make sure that you click on that like button and also subscribe to my channel i will see you soon in another video take care and bye